top 10 uses for drones on your farm in 2022. That is coming up next. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's that time we get to list our top 10 list of the ways you can use drones on your farm in 2022. We've done this the last few years, so some of this might be a little bit of repeat, but we're trying to add more and more to the list every single year. And we were able to do that this year. We've got a full top 10 list. So let's get started. Number 10, livestock monitoring. So the incredible thing about drones is you get that bird's eye view. No matter what kind of sensor you've got on it, whether it's thermal, whether it's multispectral, whether it's just an RGB camera, you're getting that great bird's eye view that you can't get from the ground. That's when you would use something like the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced or the Matrice 300 RTK with its H20T thermal and zoom sensor. Why? Because they have that high resolution thermal. You can pop your drone up in the middle of the night and literally count your cattle. So you can know in the middle of the night that your cattle are all there, they're all accounted for, everything is good, and you can have a good night's sleep after that. All right, let's move on to number nine, farm security. So if you've got a big farm, you've got a big ranch, you have to look out for predators. This is a really similar idea to number 10, which is where you can get the drone up. You can see if there are coyotes out there. You can make sure that there are no human visitors on your property that aren't supposed to be there. And it's just a great way to keep yourself out of trouble. So if you can get that drone up in the air, you go out there, you see that somebody or something is causing issues on your farm. You can call the authorities. You don't have to go out and confront somebody. And something like the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced actually has a speaker on it so you can put that speaker on top of your drone you go out you can literally speak into your remote control and the drone is going to repeat whatever you're saying to that person so a really interesting way to use your drone on the farm drone security on your farm it is worth the money for your peace of mind number eight monitoring field conditions It's just what it sounds like. You're literally monitoring what's going on in your field. So you don't have to take your big sprayer out there and ruin a large portion of your crops by trampling it all when things are wet, when things are muddy. You don't wanna take your, your giant sprayer out there at that time. Potentially, you don't wanna take your tractor out at that time. A, you don't wanna get stuck, and B, again, you don't wanna be destroying crops that you don't have to destroy. That's where a drone comes in. You can take the drone out, you can get really low to the ground, and you can see if it's muddy you can tell if the conditions are going to be right for you to take your sprayer out there so again a drone is a cheap and efficient way for you to monitor your field conditions make sure you're getting the most out of your crops number seven beneficial bugs Okay, so this one probably sounds kind of crazy because you think of bugs as infesting plants and infesting crops and killing them. Well, that does happen, absolutely. But there are other bugs that'll eat those bugs and actually be beneficial to your crop. And there are companies out there that are doing just that. They're literally dropping beneficial bugs onto plants to eat mites, to eat other things uh, that may be strangling your crops. So you don't have to always think of bugs as this horrible thing that's going to destroy you your crops sometimes if you get the right bugs the beneficial bugs they're going to help your crops thrive because they're killing the bad bugs Next up is crop scouting. Now, when we say crop scouting, this is different from monitoring your field conditions. Crop scouting, we're really talking more about crop insurance inspections. We work with some crop insurance companies that have really improved their operations by using a drone like the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, popping it up in the air. They don't have to send a guy out into the middle of a field to take manual pictures. They don't have to risk this guy falling down, spraining his ankle. So they're cutting down their risk. They're cutting down on the time that it takes to turn around a claim uh, and it really has turned out to be a, an incredibly beneficial way for these crop insurance companies again save time save money and also save the health of some of your employees Number five is cross-pollination. And when I talk about that, we're talking about the cross-pollination of hybrid corn. So the way the farmer does that is they take one row of male, then they'll take three or four rows of female corn and 
basically what has to happen is the wind has to kick up, but you've got a really limited window as to when you need to cross pollinate that corn. So our customer bought one of our bigger drones that's got a lot of thrust, a lot of, a lot of down thrust is gonna really shake things up, flies it a couple feet above the crop, and he's able to create his own wind. So he doesn't have to worry about mother nature coming along and cross pollinating that hybrid corn. He can make the wind himself. So that has been an incredibly beneficial way for him to save time and money. And it's a great way for him to take control of his crops. Again, he doesn't have to wait on mother nature. So this is, this is really a great way to use a drone. Number four, mapping. Now there are several different kinds of mapping that you can do. You can do RGB maps, which are just your regular color maps. You can do thermal maps, which are gonna give you accurate temperature readings along that map. And you can do multi-spectral mapping, which is actually gonna tell you about the health of your crop. Something like the DJI Phantom 4 Multispectral is a great tool just to pop up in the air. You can go out, you can get these multispectral maps and literally be able to tell like, all right, what part of my field needs water? What part of my field uh, needs pesticide? So you're saving time, you're saving pesticide, you're saving money, uh, you're saving all kinds of things. There's so many things that drones can do, especially on the mapping side that really are remarkable and really does give you a lot of information that somebody like a a crop analyst is gonna be able to read and then give you an accurate prescription for your field. All right, number three is seeding. Seeding, how is a drone gonna seed? Well, we've got these big drones like the DJI Agras T10, the DJI Agras T20, and the biggest one right now, the DJI Agras T30. All of these drones are capable of spreading seed, and honestly, it's one of the quickest ways to get in to these big spraying and spreading drones is, is to actually use it as a spreader. So if you're using something like dry seed that doesn't have any pesticide mixed into it or anything like that, and you own a DJI Agras T10, you can go out right now because it's going to be under 55 pounds. As long as you have your, your part 107 drone license, you can go out and start seeding right now. Let's move on to our next one, which goes right along with seeding, and that is spraying. Now, there are a lot of legal hoops that you have to jump through to be able to spray on your farm, but we believe that this really is the future of farming. When you got something like a DJA Agras T30 that can cover 40 acres in an hour, that's, that's a powerful tool, especially when you're spot spraying. We're not talking about taking a drone out and covering 500 acres in a day or anything like that. We're talking about spot spraying, using something like DJI Terra along with like the Phantom 4 Multispectral. You can effectively spot spray your field, not having to douse the entire field with chemical like a traditional crop duster would. Drones are not taking over for traditional crop dusters, but it can be a great addition to their workflow to have something like a, a drone that can fit into relatively tight spaces. But there are lots of legalities to jump through, so please don't just go out and buy one of these big drones in order to spray on your farm. You gotta get legal, we can help you with that. If you wanna give us a call, shoot us an email, we'd love to hear from you. But there are a lot of hoops you gotta jump through to be able to spray with a drone in the United States, but we really do feel like this is the future. All right, and let's move on to our final use for drones on the farm in 2022, and that is your imagination, whatever your imagination can think of. We've used our spraying drones to go out and de-ice our driveway. You could use a spraying drone to spray down cattle with insecticide so that they're not getting eaten up by bugs. You could use a drone to de-ice plants and other crops. Whatever your imagination can think of, that's what a drone can do. Really, these are amazing machines. These are really smart machines. As long as you take a little bit of time, learn how to use them, they can be a very, very powerful tool on your farm. Okay. That's just kind of a brief overview. We've got lots and lots of videos out there where we talk about these agricultural drones and show you, literally show you, we're out in the field using these drones all the time, uh, but we show you how they can be beneficial. And we're so excited about the future of drones. We know that it is just gonna continue to build and build and build. We've been doing this, we've been working in this field since 2016. So we really do know what we're talking about. My business partner, Michael Ferguson, is probably one of the foremost experts in the country on agricultural drones. So we encourage you to take a look at some of our videos. We think it'll be enlightening. We really do appreciate you stopping by and we hope you see you next time. <laughs>